Hi everyone, I'm Lara from GoSimply.ca and today I have an upper body active stretching routine to help relieve stress. It's only nine minutes long. It doesn't have a warm up or a cool down, though you likely don't need one because all of the movements are very fluid. Uh, you will need a chair. We're gonna do all of these stretches uh, in a seated position. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started. Our workout today is going to go through a series of seated stretches, starting with neck rolls. So just put your um, chin down to your ear, and roll off to one side, and then to the other. The whole time we're doing these exercises, we want to try and have good posture. So our abs are in, our back is straight. We're going to going through 12 different sort of fluid stretches, active stretches, for 45 seconds each with no break in between. We'll just go right into the next one. Just about five seconds left of this one. Next up we're going to do ear to shoulder. So just put your ear down to your shoulder and then the other side and just holding them for a minute when you get there. And this is nice and relaxing, letting go of any stress. It's perfect for if you're at work, you've just had a stressful meeting, or it's a really bad day, or you know things feel a little out of control. It's only nine minutes long, so take a little break. See if you can work out some of that tension, and then you can get on with your day. Just got a few more seconds here of this one. Next we're going to do head nods, so nodding your head forward, and then looking up to the ceiling. This is also really good if your home life can be somewhat stressful, maybe you've got kids that are running around, and it gets to that point of the day where you just, you run to the bathroom, you lock the door, you're sitting on the side of the tub, and you're trying to breathe through it, so you can go back out. If you have children, you totally know what I'm talking about. Just a few more seconds of head nods. Should feel really good. Next we have full neck circles, so, you know, just nice and slow, being careful not to do anything that doesn't feel good. One circle in one direction, and then another circle in the other direction. So just alternating back and forth with which direction you're going in. So also is a very good quick workout to do if you say you did a really challenging upper body workout the day before, some shoulder work. It feels really lovely to just sort of stretch out these muscles and relax them. Next we have shoulder shrugs, so you're going to shrug them way up high, 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 and then just let them drop. And you can sort of imagine that all that stress that's building up and causes us to sit like this at work, and just shrug it right off. Just let it go. And I'm someone who can suffer a fair bit from tension headaches. And sometimes doing workouts like these ones, I can avoid taking some ibuprofen um, and you know try and get my muscles to do the relaxing instead of medicine to do it for it. It doesn't always work, but it's totally worth a try. Okay, next we're gonna do shoulder rolls, backwards and then forwards. There are many, many of us who also, at work or at home, sitting on the couch or sitting at the dinner table or at the computer, have terrible, terrible posture. And so doing an active stretch workout like this can sort of help alleviate muscles that have gotten sore from poor posture and help develop better posture. And you can do this anywhere. You can just All you need is a chair. 
You can do them standing up as well if you want to. There's no reason you can't stand up. You're going to do arm raises, both laterally and then ventrally. Just get a little bit of range of motion. So while you're sitting here, you're focusing on good posture, your abs are tight, your back is nice and straight and flat. Also, if you're at the office and you don't really want people to know what you're doing, it's easy to do this in your chair and you can just mute me so you don't hear any noise in the background and just follow the exercises. Next up we have wrist flexion, so just arms straight out in front, pull your wrist down, and then up. Give your wrists a bit of range of motion. They get really sore when we sit and type at computers all day. Those wrist muscles get a lot of work. They used to get sore because we did a lot of writing. Now they still get sore, but we do a lot of typing. You may notice some wrist cracking when you do this. If there's no pain, it's probably okay. Next, just give your arms a quick shake. Then we're just going to do wrist circles. So arms back up, circle in one direction, and then circle in another. can actually, I can feel the muscles working just holding my arms up straight. Just a few more seconds of wrist circles here. Then for any of you who's done any yoga, you might know the next move. It's called a seated cat-cow. So what you're going to do, I'll turn sideways here so you can see, is you're going to sort of arch your back out, 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 like an angry cat, and then pull it in and really sort of arch your back backwards like a cow who has a big dip in his back. And just keep going like this. I find that doing the cat stretch one forward feels so nice on my lower back. Just a few more seconds here of this. Nice and slow, very fluid. So next up we have torso twists, so just turning off to the side and then switching to the other side. You can place your hand on your knee for a little extra rotation if you want. But you don't have to. You can just hold your hands up here and twist to the side. The main point is you're trying to rotate while keeping your hips staying forward. Okay, so just the upper body is moving. So we have one more stretch to go through, and it's a toe touch roll up. And again, I'll turn sideways to show you what we're doing. So you're just going to sort of let your hands slide down your legs until your fingers touch your toes. Hold it for a second. And then roll all the way back up to good posture. And then slide all the way back down. Touch those toes. Let your head hang. And all the way back up to good posture. Sort of rolling each vertebrae as you go down. an urge to stay down here when I get here. I hope this workout has helped to relieve a little bit of the stress you might be carrying in your upper body, and I hope to see you again soon.
To keep up to date with the latest workouts, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click like on Facebook. Have a workout request? Send it at gosimply.ca slash contact.